Welcome back to Control. In the last episode, we finished the main game, but now it's time to start on the first DLC. It's the only one that's been released so far, called The Foundation. I don't actually know what it's about. Let's go find out. I'm supposed to talk to the board in the hotline chamber. Even if it was a dream, I feel Darling reached out to me through the hotline. I have a feeling he and Trench won't be the only callers from the beyond. Ati's vacation spot. We need to check this out. All right, that location was the foundation. The place where the oldest house grew from, I think. I thought that strange, strange tree on that pillar seemed significant. Foundation. Dark. Quiet. Transdimensional. This place really suits Ati. So that etching is the door. Okay, let's try opening it. Where are we going? God, I always love that. No time for sightseeing. The board said this was an emergency. <laughs> like I'm not going to sightsee. Although it's pretty dark, there's not much to see. This looks like sand. But sort of blood red. Speckled. You can grab the stalactites. <laughs> Research site Gamma. Looks like no one's been down here in a while. Those are crystals. Made of what? Is that black rock or something else? Hmm. The crystals are kind of pretty. Emily would be having a field day down here. This whole place is so pretty. So vibrant. My life's been a strange one. Certainly stranger than I'd like. But this place, it's something else. The floors crawl, the walls slither, it's a shifting pit. On the street, it's just another drab building standing there for anyone to see. But no one does. How do we miss it? Northmore. 
acting director in Northmore now, is on a train from Washington. He'll expect answers, which is why I'm making these tapes. They're evidence that I'm at least trying to understand. Father searched his entire life for something like this, and we find it one week after he's buried. He always hated irony. Of course, Father, the great director, Ash, would have been the first man in. And look at me, his bookworm son, the supposed head of research who can't stop his legs from shaking long enough to step over the threshold. It really has been a long time since we've been down here. That was two directors ago, Northmore. So that was Gamma, research site Gamma. Deep Cavern is caved in, and this is heading towards research site Delta. The foundation. Bottom of... Marshall. I only heard of the foundation when I became head of operations. The very bottom of the oldest house, director access only. Just the name alone is classified. Zachariah gave me a tour the day I was promoted. Said I should see it for myself. To understand. After that, I snuck down on my own from time to time to keep tabs on the place. And on them. But nothing ever changed down there. Not even the walls. It's solid. Permanent. Different from the rest of the house. Of course... They were always watching me. I never stayed long. I'm not stupid. I have to stop the Hiss from finding this place. I'm the only one who can. The oldest house. Stop the Hiss. Marshall? How is she on the hotline? Unless... She's dead. <sighs> Jesus. She seemed like the kind of woman who could survive anything. Right, we haven't seen them in a long time. Yeah. Hope we get to learn more about Marshall. It sounds like we will. We really didn't get to know much about them at all. enemies aren't new, but I don't think they've ever behaved like that, like perching on the ceiling of a cave like a bat. You don't really call the top of a cave a ceiling, it's the... You call it the roof, right? The roof of the cave? I don't know. Now it all sounds wrong. This one didn't try to protect itself. Why 
Why does the light flash sometimes? I figured I could step on some of those bits on the side, but I can't actually. Which means how am I supposed to get there? Maybe I'm not supposed to yet. I don't know, I could try stepping on something. I need more than that. That wouldn't be enough. Now look at that. Look at those bands of like rainbowish light. This game is so pretty. It looks like hiss. Obviously hiss enemies, but I mean like the hiss distortion. A big cloud of it. Yeah, it looks like it's coming out of the ground, like there's a spout or something. At the center of that control point. I don't know if I've ever seen that before at a control point, have we? Those are blocks of black rock, I think. Actually, is that black rock or is that the stuff that appears in the astral plane? Are those one and the same? Not actually sure. put really good, like, uh, bounding boxes, or not bounding boxes, invisible walls to kind of smooth the edges, so all these things that you think maybe you can get a little bit of a foot on to then levitate off of, you can't. Everything's too dang smooth. Whoa. What is that? It's bizarre. It's like the t top of this canyon is just being printed or something, like it's being constructed. Cave paintings. At first I thought the cave paintings in the foundation chronicled ancient humans' encounters with natural occurrences like weather, but it soon became clear they depicted events far outside the average human experience. Also it seems I was wrong to assume the images are ancient. Radiocarbon dating suggests something impossible. That I've been down here longer than the paintings. That's absurd though. The style and medium clearly indicate a Paleolithic origin. I was ready to conclude that an ancient community of humans lived in or around the oldest house. Now, with this information, I don't know what to think. Is one of our agents drawing these? Or is there someone down here with us? 
This place has a habit of skewing my results, so perhaps the data is corrupted. Or perhaps some paintings were created at different times. The art does seem to chronicle not only the past, but also the present and possibly even the future. I see in them echoes of the board, some linear architecture, even what could be interpreted as a director. Are the paintings telling a story that's still being written? If so, who is writing it? Ooh, those are new enemies. We're using pickaxes now. It's terrifying. God. Evade ammo refund? What does that mean? Ammo recovery on evade use, 9%. Huh. That's new. Yeah, same with these. I guess this symbol means it comes from the Foundation DLC, I think. It looks kind of like a pillar. So they're unique mods. Getting ammo back on evade use. I don't know if, I mean, running out of ammo is not really the biggest problem I have. Relocation order. Tom, you missed the good news. I'm sure the official memo will go out soon, but Northmore called in all hands at the crossroads to announce we're finally moving out of this hellhole and up into the house proper. Bureau Brass apparently solved the moving walls problem, or at least figured out a way to pinpoint where and when they happen. All I know is going up means goodbye darkness, goodbye weird lunches with that ex-Nazi scientist, and goodbye pissing into the pit. I know that was you, Barry. Northmore's ordering the Foundation sealed as soon as we can haul our stuff out and somehow convince Ash to come with us. He's the only one kicking up a fuss. This is long overdue. We've lost 11 men and damn near $10,000 in supplies moving between the entrance and the Foundation. And for what? Research? Ash is batty if he thinks we want to stay here and sift through more sand for him. It's just rusted iron flakes anyway. Did you know that? We were breathing that shit in. Oh, this is all rust? Yeah, then that's not good. So wait, was the implication there that they started here before they moved into the oldest house up above? Is that the start? Not just of the oldest house, but also the start of where they started researching? Or maybe I just misunderstood that. It's crossroads. Beware of dangerous toxic geysers. I see. They do seem dangerous. I 
I bet these are going to be breakable in the future. There's definitely stuff back there. Accident from Mr. Talbot to H. Wilder, subject contractor issue. Mr. Wilder, I have some bad news. You remember that Robert uh, Ricardo, that Robert Ricardo fellow we brought in as a special consultant to map the lower caves? Well, today he found a chamber with weird eyes covering every inch of the walls and a strange black pillar in the center. Kind of looks like the one at the crossroads, but smaller. We had a bureau member shadowing him, but whatever happened in there did a number on our guest. The docs are taking a look, but it's pretty clear Mr. Adventure's exploring days are over. I know we were careful to limit this guy's exposure to the non-ordinary. Drugging him and carrying him through the upper floor was a real hoot, by the way. But we really need to reevaluate our policies on external contractors. Honestly, we'd be better off forming a special division trained in repelling and orienteering than subjecting more outsiders to the shit we deal with. They almost always end up dead or loony. Marcus. love how that looks. Everything's so shiny. Look at how it sparkles in the light. Hopefully the YouTube compression isn't totally ruining it. The astral plane is cutting into our dimension. What if this happens in the upper floors? It'll destroy the Bureau. Mm, that would be the emergency then, I take it. Cave bleed. those gray astral plane enemies. Not this one, obviously, but these. That's <laughs> very satisfying. Wait, hold on. Oh, that's so cool. We get some little bits of the um, black rock or whatever the astral plane rock is in our shield. <laughs> That's really cool. I wish I'd brought Emily with me. I could really use my head of research right about now. That'd be pretty great. Why did we just get that little visual thing like Polaris just nodded or something? Maybe they did. Oh, there's some of the cave paintings. I can't really make it out. Um, this looks like the pillar, though. 
That thing in the center with the notch cut out of it, doesn't that look like... Yeah, that looks like this. The symbol on the mods. So I think that represents the foundation. I don't know what that is, though. An arrow? A fish skeleton? Marshall? Marshall! You're alive! <laughs> sure. couldn't have been Marshall, right? One problem at a time. Let's see what's going on with that pillar first. Investigate the nail. It's called the nail. Send to 325. I bet that's very important. I should remember that number. Ah, I'm in a box. It's been five days since we first entered the building. Traversing the interior is dangerous due to that shifting, but we did manage to find a lower cavern that seems structurally predictable. Which is a scientific way of saying its walls won't crush us in our sleep. Northmore even made a discovery. A pistol placed on a stone pedestal in front of that strange ebony pillar. Seems like something out of a storybook, except the heroes usually find swords, not handguns. But it is the perfect lure for someone like him. Hours after finding this weapon, Northmore cornered me about some nonsense about how the board had made him the director. He ranted about the title being meaningless before now, calling Father and all other previous directors jams, frauds, and worse. I think this place is worse for Northmore than it is for me. Strangest thing? There was no pedestal in front of that pillar a day ago. This building has swallowed a dozen of my men, and now it's handing out presents? Is it playing some sort of game? If it is, we're most certainly losing. Hell, we don't even know the rules. So Northmar was the first one to find the service weapon. Strange pulsing light there on the nail. I'm assuming that is the nail. Ley lines. For all my research into the oldest house's ley lines, I still don't understand why they converge here, at the base of this pillar. I suppose the simplest reason is that they have to converge somewhere. Occam's razor and all that. But that seems wrong. The esoteric world abhors coincidence. So what is the true relationship between this pillar and the ley lines? Does it act as a magnet, attracting them? Polar north? Or is the pillar a product of their focused energies? A sprout nourished by the constant flow of the oldest house's power? Perhaps classifying that power would provide some insight. However, we currently have no means of measuring or quantifying it. 
Given time, it may become possible to collect and even harness this energy. On that note, Northmore is bringing in the much-lauded Dr. Gustav Wagner from headquarters in D.C. to aid my research. I suppose this is his way of saying he doesn't trust me to work unsupervised. Let's just hope Dr. Dr. Wagner is as smart as his dearly departed Fuhrer once believed him to be. Ah, so Gustav Wagner is the ex-Nazi scientist. Great. Is that really the only person you could find to fill the position? I see handprints all over the place and people. Ooh. Somebody did some spelunking up there. I could probably find some way to reach that. Yeah, I could jump off of there. Just get on top of that. What am I seeing in the distance? I don't even know what that is. Oh, there's these lower levels. Can I go down there without just hitting a death plane? Let's try that in a minute, not just yet. Oh, base camp is down there. If I want to enter it yet. Oh, I can't get on top of it, can I? Wow, for this DLC, they, they're very particular about where they allow you to get to. Would this get me high enough? Nope. What about from this tippy top? Wow, almost. I could probably place something on the tippy top of that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make this stay, though. Uh, yeah. Perfect. Oh, no! Uh. Well... Ah, it's fine. Pillar. The pillar found in the crossroads is best described as an onyx spike that protrudes from the cave floor like an opposing stalagmite. Despite its aggressive silhouette, the structure has an undeniable allure. Freud would certainly have something. Wait, is it Freud or Freud? Freud. Freud would certainly have something to say about the pillar's overly erect nature, but I'm more drawn to Whitmore's essay on dynamic layers. Structures within structures, the fractal mirror in every being. 
Given its significant location, I believe the pillar is either the very heart of the oldest house or an intrusion within that heart. Or perhaps it's like the husk of a seed from which the oldest house sprouted. Trotter wrote that great architecture isn't built, it grows. But then why does the pillar look so different from the rest of this place's concrete walls and rocky caverns? It's easier to see it as an anomaly, a buried artifact, a foreign body, a demonic phallus. I wonder if this pillar is any more welcome here than we are. So I can only choose one? I thought I was done with these tests. This one I get the ability to break those things. Ah. Hmm. I wonder if that will allow you to access some places that you otherwise couldn't. Like, uh, I mean, would this ability allow you to get some places that you couldn't with the other one and, and vice versa? I'm feeling this one though. Manipulate. I do feel handled. Certain crystal formations crumble after being shaped. Such as these. Trespassing snooping is forbidden. What? What do they mean by that? Me or, or the his trespassing? Ah, so if there's enemies over that when you do that, it'll do damage to them. Ah! Nice!
highest point. This broken pillar is called the Nail. It was broken by something, and now the astral plane is bleeding into the foundation, which will destroy the oldest house, the Bureau, and everyone inside. I need to find four locks, or keys, or whatever, to stop that from happening. But I'm the director. I've handled worse. This should be simple. Ish. <laughs> you with me? Yeah. God, that's so nice to see Polaris still being here, still alive. So, now we can do lots of cool stuff, such as get up there. Boop. Oh, that's going to be really fun. Okay, well, for now, I think this is a pretty good place to end it. I say that uncertainly, uncertainly, as I realize that I think we have something to look at first, actually. I've already seen the logs, but the hotline... This. Just that. Alright, well, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return... Uh, well, I guess we're gonna explore up there and also... down there. <laughs> <laughs>